Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2012 Nick Show episode review. This is going to be for Season 2, Episode 10, um, Fungus Humongous. Um, getting straight into general thoughts, um, I just thought that this was an okay episode. It was fairly weak, I think, compared to especially the last two episodes, and really just highlighted for me again the big problem that this show has is that it really doesn't know what it wants to be with regards to it being a show that has continuity where something happens in the last episode is addressed in the next one or just being that show that has these random episodes happen that sort of have a continuing plot throughout them all this episode didn't really advance any of the plots there's some nice character moments and the actual idea of the episode was interesting but I felt it could have been executed so much better. A lot of shows do this thing where the, all the characters have to encounter their biggest fear but this one just didn't do it that well apart from Leonardo really. Um, and that's really my main thoughts on the episode. Um, I was disappointed that it didn't focus really in any way on the fact that April's now a mutant that hasn't been addressed in the last two episodes because um, as I mentioned at the end of the last one the, the, the Crank Conspiracy episode was actually 208 which happens before it's meant to happen before the Casey Jones episode that actually aired before it and it's also meant to happen before this one which is episode 10 in production so Technically, it's been two episodes now since we found out about April being kind of a mutant, and it hasn't really been addressed. We kind of got a moment of her using her powers to kind of sense that there's uh, something in the tunnels, um, but it wasn't addressed really. We, we, we did get addressed the fact that Casey Jones is now part of the group, and he's going down to the sewers with them. April's happy to have another human friend uh, who um, is okay with this. But even then, the fact that she just had it revealed to her that she's a mutant, shouldn't that be something on her mind that, like, she's happy to have Casey as a friend who's like that, but she's not fully human? Um, some of this stuff I think they're just really missing out on, um, and I hope they definitely improve on it. Um, but getting to some of the specifics around the episode, the plot obviously is a, is about these uh, mushroom kind of things that are alive, that are sporing uh, everyone with uh, this kind of toxin that causes them to experience their greatest fear, have all these hallucinations. That's an interesting idea if it was executed well. The only character I think it was executed well for was Leonardo because he actually dealt with his fear. I felt Donatello and April, it was nice to find out what their fear was but they didn't really address them getting over it. And I hope that's something they address once again, that that's their biggest fear, and they need to get over it at some point. Because the idea that April's biggest fear right now is that she's afraid of her father because he's a mutant, that's really interesting because of what she's dealing with, with finding out that she's kind of also a mutant as well. Um, that's fascinating to me, and I hope they address it because they didn't get it any time to address it here. Donatello's biggest fear is that he's afraid that April's won't like him, doesn't like him, and also that she will like Casey more than him in that romantic sense. That's interesting, they didn't do anything with it, it just presents that to us as the idea. And then I really think they missed an opportunity with having Ralph, Mikey, and Casey all have their greatest fear, fears be um, animals. Because you can't really have a character moment getting over the fear of an animal. I think th that they should have had those guys have their biggest kind of character focused fear. Like, how interesting would it be to find out what Mikey is actually afraid of? Because, okay, he's afraid of mutant squirrels eating his brains out. That's a fear, okay. But there's nothing you can really get into that, like, with him. Like, why is that a big thing? The same with Raph with the fear of cockroaches. We've had that presented to us before. But that's not a character thing. And the same with Casey. Like, he's a new character, and they give him a fear of rats, which is a funny thing, kind of, given that Splinter is part of the group. But what does it really do for him as a character? Finding out what his greatest fear is would be really interesting, especially if it was maybe something to do with being, like, afraid of mutants in general, and then how he would feel about April. 
this show has so much potential with some of the stuff it presents, it just doesn't have any consistency, continuity with regards to this stuff. And that's what it really needs to improve on to become the show I think it can be eventually. Um, not that I'm expecting it to suddenly change uh, very soon to being the show I want, but I think it's a valid uh, argument to say that this show could be better if it had better continuity. Part of the reason The Legend of Korra is so good, also in Nickelodeon, is because when something happens in a, in a previous episode, it's addressed almost immediately, or at the very least, you know for sure that it will be addressed eventually. Um, with this show, I'm not quite so sure about that, because look at the amount of villains that this show still has out there. The Turtles have not fully defeated any single villain yet, in that it's always been revealed to us that everyone survived <laughs> an encounter with the turtles somehow. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Maybe they defeated one of them fully. But everyone has been... Seems like they're coming back. And that's not really the best. Uh, because it just means that it, it, there's t so many characters out there. It means that there's going to be a lot of variety in episodes and that we have a lot of villains but it also means that there's not enough time to really characterize all of these villains and so it kind of becomes a villain of the week show and it just comes back to the whole idea you can't have a villain of the week show that really heavily characterizes stuff and makes you care about both the villain and the heroes um, but coming back to the ac actual focus of this episode and um, I, I I did enjoy the episode I liked watching it it wasn't something where I was like struggling to watch it just to do this review it's a good episode. This show is very high quality. It's just this episode could have been so much better given how good this show can be when it's at its best. Um, uh, but yeah, we, we saw hints of Donatello's jealousy over April and Casey. That was interesting to see. That was a nice character moment. Leo de dealing with leadership issues, obviously his thing with the fear. That was the big focus of the episode. That's the kind of fear thing I liked. And I think they should have done that for all six characters involved. And um, even finding out what Splinter's greatest fear is would have been really nice to see. But um, just seeing that Leda, uh, Leonardo's greatest fear is basically letting his team down, losing his teammates, that was uh, interesting. Yes, it's continuing on the whole idea that everything about Leonardo is about leadership. That was a little bit annoying at the start, but I, I really got into it once there was a focus on it. And, he was trying to like achieve peace within himself and then ultimately he finds that getting over the mushrooms powers and beats wins the day by thinking about you know they're not they're not good with light remembering what Donatello said and they all appreciate that he uh, helped them out that was a good moment for Leonardo in the series but I just can't help but feel that the next time there's a Leonardo Focus episode, he's going to be adding his leadership again. And, again, that's a continuity thing. That, like, why is this show not doing it better? Um, but, yeah, it's it's just coming at the stage now where there's so many interesting things I want, and the show, the very next episode, doesn't expand on those interesting things. Like, we haven't seen Shredder, Karai in ages. Um, I think, didn't Chris Bradf Bradford... Uh, mutate again and we haven't seen him since um, and all this other stuff like really interesting stuff that they haven't come back to yet um, and I feel like I've been really negative to, the, to this episode but it just happens to be that episode where I've kind of lost a little bit of patience with regards to it focusing on the stuff that it's in, that's interesting that it really needs to focus on but um, yeah that's been my review of this episode uh, Fungus Humongous Fun, some interesting parts, but not one of the best episodes of the season is my overall thoughts on it. Um, looking forward to what they do next week, but uh, let's see, hopefully it's better than this week. Um, I just want some continuity with this show. That's the main word of the day. This show needs better continuity. Thanks for watching this review, and bye.